So the game you're seeing in this video is called a Beyond Sunset. I'll put a link in the description below. Basically, you're a samurai. It's set in a cyberpunk universe. It's a first person shooter and it's very old school. Check it out. Your Windows 10 PC has an expiry date, October the 14th, 2025. That's the day that Microsoft pulls the plug. No more updates, no more bug fixes and no more security patches. Now, your computer will still run, but every new hole or vulnerability discovered after that date will go unpatched, unless you enroll into extended updates. So, what do you do? Well, you've got three clear options. Option one is to enroll in the extended security updates program. This keeps security patches coming for a little longer. It won't bring you any new features or upgrades, but it does buy you some more time to plan your next step. Option two is to upgrade to Windows 11. If your PC has TPN 2.0, if it has secure boot, and if it has a supported CPU, then you can move to Windows 11 and stay fully supported. It's the straightforward path, but only if your hardware qualifies. But if you're running older hardware, then chances are you may not be able to upgrade. Option three, switch to Linux. This is the option that I chose. I went with Fedora, it's fast, it's stable, it's very user friendly and it runs really well on older hardware. Now, let's be real, not everything works on Linux. Some games with the intrusive anti-cheat just simply won't run. Things like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Fortnite, Valorant. These are all locked out by those anti-cheat systems. The Xbox app isn't supported either. So if you have a Game Pass subscription, take it as an opportunity to cancel it, save some money. Adobe products don't work either. Uh, but there are plenty of alternatives. So for art, you've got GIMP and you've got Critter. Uh, for video editing, you've got Caden Live. If you go for KDE Plasma or even DaVinci Resolve, that works really well. And that's what I use. Now for documents, I use LibreOffice. It does the job. It does everything that I need it to do. And Steam with Proton covers a massive library of games. In fact, most single player game titles and multiplayer games work out of the box. Linux has come a very long way. For most people, it can handle daily needs and the freedom it gives you is definitely worth trying. So here's the bottom line. You can enroll into extended updates for more time. I think it's about a year. Uh, you can upgrade to Windows if your hardware qualifies or you can take this as the perfect opportunity to break free and try Linux. Now, if you do decide to switch, hang out here. I've shared plenty of videos on my own journey. I'm not an expert, but if I can do it, then so can you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one.